Hey guys, SJ here. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing a first impression of two new products that I saw when I went to CVS today. The first one is the Revlon Photo Ready Prime and Anti Shine, and the next is their new foundation stick, the Revlon Photo Ready Insta Fix. So if you'd like to see how this applies and also hear my first impression, please stay tuned. Okay, so the two products that I'm going to be trying for the first time are the new Revlon Photo Ready Prime and Anti Shine and also the new Revlon Photo Instafix. Now this is being advertised as not just a concealer but also like a fix-it stick for touch-ups throughout the day and this obviously is a primer but also it's kind of comparable to I would say the Mali um, mattifier and also um, CoverGirl was the only one that had come out with a mattifier as far as the drugstores, so this is the second one that is on the market. Now I picked these up at CVS and they were both fairly higher end price. Um, this was $14.99 and then this was I believe $13, no. $13.99, $14.99, but they were on sale with my CVS card, so I wound up getting both of these for $8.50 a piece. So that is why I went ahead and picked them up because that $8.50 seemed a little more in my um, budget than spending $15 and $14 each on a drugstore product. So what we're gonna do is, uh, my face is cleansed. I do have my mascara on my eyes already. I'm not going for heavy makeup today but I am ready to try this out. So with the Revlon Photo Ready Prime and Anti Shine, basically it's a primer, but you can also use it after you've applied your foundation and throughout the day to just sort of mattify any shiny areas that you have. It is white, but when you rub your finger on it, it is clear. There's no white casting on it. And then it does come with a little sponge down here. So I don't know if I'm, I think I'm going to go without the sponge for this one and I'm just going to go ahead and apply it with my fingertips. And before anybody comments, I know my nails are kind of woo -hoo. So I'm going to just go ahead and use my ring finger and do that. And just pat it onto my skin. I have dry skin so I don't have a lot of areas that get oily. I'm just going to try and concentrate on those areas that I get a little more oil than the rest of my skin. With it being winter, my skin is definitely drier than it usually is and it's dry all the time. So basically like just in my T-zone. It does give a blurring effect. I can completely see. I don't know if you can see the difference right there. I, I can see it up close, obviously. to go ahead and go with the Revlon Photo Ready Insta Fix. I have this in the color nude and this is what it looks like. Go ahead and do a little swatch down the back of my hand. It's very powdery. It's very powdery. Now, I can compare this just from swatching to my Maybelline Fit Me foundation stick or even my Flower Skin Cognito stick. Now, both of those I had issues with because of the fact that I have dry skin. So they they would tend to cling to certain overly dry areas on my face. 
Um, I did over moisturize, so we will see if that is going to make a difference. But um, I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to apply this as well. I think I'm going to go ahead with this itty bitty little sponge here and we will go from there. So put that on first. This is not a heavy foundation. So where you've got like the Flower Beauty Skin Cognito, that is more of a medium to full coverage, shockingly enough. Um, this is a light to medium as far as coverage. I do like the ease of application, obviously. Okay, so this is just one pass with the foundation stick. Now, with just one pass, it feels really good on my skin. It doesn't feel cakey. It doesn't feel like I'm wearing a mask of some kind. But I'm going to go ahead and try another pass and see how it feels with two applications on the face. And here it is with two applications on my face. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop really quick, finish up the rest of my makeup, and then we will come back and I will let you know how I feel as far as a first impression with both of these products. Okay, so I've gone ahead and finished m m the rest of my face. I wasn't going for anything too heavy today. And now I'm going to go ahead and weigh in on these products. Now first, we are going to talk about the Revlon Photo Ready Prime and Anti Shine. This primer is actually... I like it. It feels kind of like silicone based, and this is the primer right here. Um, as I mentioned, it doesn't leave a white cast, even though it does look white. Once you blend it, there's nothing left. It feels very silky. Do I feel that it kind of filled in my fine lines, my wrinkles, my pores? I don't. I feel more like it just sort of laid on top of them, um, but that being said, I, I did really enjoy this product. Um, now, as I mentioned before, aside from being a primer, they say you can use this throughout the day and sort of just touch up your face, um, whether it's with your finger and just sort of patting in a shiny spot or using a sponge and patting it in. This is something that I would keep in my, my handbag and take with me. Um, the price, however, I mean, I understand that Revlon and L'Oreal tend to be the higher end of the drugstore brand if we're talking strictly drugstore like CVS or Walgreens. I would include Walmart except Flower Beauty is sold there now. And even though the majority of the stuff is very comparable to like hard candy, there are some products within that line that are rather pricey um, as far as a drugstore line. But I do really, really like this. Um, <clears throat> I found this at CVS. I have not seen this at Walgreens yet, but I do know that they will be rolling this out. Now this is part of the Revlon Spring 2015 line, but it, there has been talk within you know, the blogs and the vlogs and everything that these are going to become a permanent fixture of the Revlon Photo Finish um, line. So hopefully that is true. Now we're going to go ahead and move on to the InstaFix. Again, here it is. This is what it looks like. Now, as far as application, ease of application, I mean, you can't beat it. Please don't judge. I have very, very white arms. Um, <laughs> the bottom of my arms and my neck and my face, they never match. So as far as, you know, rubbing it in, very easy to do. You get sort of a powdery finish. Um, I feel that by applying it 
with the sponge, whether it's this or whether it's your beauty blender or whether it's your Miracle Complexion sponge from Real Techniques, I feel as if you're not getting such a heavy feeling. Now, I'm going by my other two foundation sticks, which is my Maybelline Fit Me foundation stick and also my Flower Skin Cognito foundation stick. Both of those I have used with brushes, I have used them with sponges, and I have used them with my fingers. And I still have issues with those two. For some reason, the formula for those, it's just too heavy for my skin. Even though I really love it, like I used my skin incognito a lot during the summer because it tended to hold up a little bit more. Even though my skin's dry, I, I, I was a sweating. So it did tend to hold up a little bit better than my Fit Me foundation stick did. I believe that two, two goes, two passes with this gave me enough coverage that I feel comfortable and I feel like it still looks natural as far as my skin itself. I'm going to go ahead and hurry up and zoom in just so we can get a better look um, and I can point out some of the other things that I kind of noticed about it. Okay, so right through here, I kind of feel like it's sort of clinging to my little crow's feet. And then I've got like a little wrinkle that's always been here with my eye. I feel like it's clinging there. However, it is not clinging around my nose. And it's not clinging around my mouth. And here's the whole face. I, I think it gives a very fresh, even look to my skin. And I feel like... It's not dewy, but it's not matte. It's kind of somewhere in the middle, and I really do like that. Now, as far as the Photo Ready InstaFix, I like this better as far as a first impression than I did my Skin Cognito and my Fit Me Foundation Stick. Um, I love the fact that this is definitely more, not just of a foundation, but also a, a concealer. Um, obviously, the other two you can use as well, but this formula isn't as heavy as the other two. Um, the thing that I, you know, I wasn't too thrilled about with the Fit Me Foundation Stick is like the primers in the middle and that's great, but it just sort of felt weird on my skin. I don't know. Is this something that I'm going to keep in my arsenal? Absolutely. And I can honestly say just as far as first impressions, both of these are something that I would keep in my handbag so that if I needed to touch up my face throughout the day, I could because everything I needed would be right here. I also feel like these two products, if they work well for you, are great for travel, something super tiny and slick that you can just throw in your bag and you've got with you at all times. Now, as I mentioned before, this was $14.99. This was $13.99 at CVS, but with your CVS card, they were on sale and I got them for $8.50 a piece. Now, that is it for my first impression. If you guys like this, please go ahead and give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to this channel. I've got new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday throughout the holidays. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please go ahead and leave them in the comment section down below. It's Christmas, so check out the link for Sammy Vlogs. I'm vlogging every day during the month of December for Vlogmas. And as always, please be kind to one another, love one another, and remember to tell the ones you love that you love them. And don't forget to love yourself because that is the hardest thing that we can do. We'll see you next time. Bye.